Hey guys, uh, I'm on my console version on the Xbox One. Um, it's taking way too long to find the accessories and gear. Uh, a lot of them are rare and hard to find. But with the Wii Mod version, uh, this build is just beyond God tier. Like, I'll show you my stats. And this is like the maximum I can do with what I had on the Xbox One. See, like, my other one has like no accessories, but it went over 6,000, and this one's in the 5,000 range. So, this is my main build. Um, I like it more than any of my other builds for a reason. I go into co a lot, and I play with their players, and I want something that can basically do it all. I used to believe for so long I couldn't even attempt to make a build, so there's three types of builds out there. There is the most common ones, uh, pretty much damage, technically DP. Then we got the second uh, common ones, known as tank. And then the last one, we hardly anybody uses because they don't want to actually do any effort past them to shooting people in the face. Uh, Sound of them for that limited IQ level. Uh, the third one is support. So support uh, is the one that basically buffs up all your teammates, heals them, and makes sure nobody dies. But imagine if you can be uh, a DP, a tank, and a support all at the same time. Uh, keep in mind, this build is on the console, so it is restricted. If it's on the Wii mod on the PC, it's out 100%. These are at 80% of what they are supposed to be. So technically, this is considered to be a tank because it's in the 5,000 defense range. And it's very strong on its actual defense. This thing has the same amount of defense and also has the same amount of regen. So when it gets hurt, its regen goes up pretty high. This thing also relies on other things. So I'm going to walk you through how powerful this thing is. And let you guys decide for yourself if you guys know what this is. Uh, if you want to fully understand this, please uh, talk to somebody. It's a really good build person. Because if you don't know what you're doing and you just like want to criticize this, it's not going to work out. You have to be somebody who actually knows about the builds, and when you see this, if you didn't know about it, you're going to be pretty shocked. But um, I'll show you why this is a DP slash tank slash support. And uh, guys, set of builders out there, this is only 80%. This is not 100% what they're supposed to be, but it's really strong in a co-op. I could take out 275s. Um, I'm extremely deadly in PvP, so... That as well. So I'm going to tell you uh, where the support is. Now, the support is literally in my stats. Okay? So there is the defense and some of the DP perks. But we, if you guys are builders, I'm going to assume I'm talking to people make builds. Uh, the real DP and shit uh, are, uh, are literally not in your fucking stats. I mean, there's some shit in there, but re literally it's all in the buffs and shit. But you need your stats, so it's just fucking not going to work. So... This is where my actual support is, and I'm going to show you where I did for my defense. Because if you look at that, it's like, great, there's not enough defense on there. Well, you're going to realize uh, what this is. So, I got these two accessories, and there is just two of them. With Vitality at 32%, EGI at 32%. And then here's the big kicker, what pretty much messes everything up for everybody. Uh, I would change one thing over, but unfortunately I can't mess with it. So, the HP recovery over 150%. Uh, if you stack them, there's two of them with the first aid kit, it goes insanely fast. So here's the second one, has another HP recovery at 50% as well, and the same shit. The only problem, well, I don't like accessory personally, but I can mess with it because this is what I got. And those two items were not duplicated or anything like that. This is the Xbox One version. This is found. Um, I put them on specifically. I did change the accessories so they look cooler. Uh, so, the maximum HP is, I don't need that shit. It's not going to help me, it's not going to change anything. It might decrease my defense by a little bit, but I'd rather have recharge time. I'd rather have recharge time the highest so I can pop up more stuff, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. That's what was available, and I keep looking, I couldn't find one. So, that's where the defense is at, right below here in the accessories. And now for the damage. Now, if you guys are, like, master builds and shit, you're going to realize this gun ain't 100%. Um, you, well, technically, the reason it's not 100% is it is fully overclocked. It has the maximum of chips I can get. Um, it's not a bounty AR Ninja 3++. It's just a normal AR Ninja 3++. Uh, so I did put bounty chips on it, the black ones here. So all those at the bottom are bounty. 
the top ones are not bounty, and their max is they would let me to go. So you immediately realize my crit damage is not at 50%. My crit rate is not at 50%. Um, that's bad. Uh, none of these are where they should be, the top white ones here. But this 50, uh, physical attack at 50% breaks the 30% uh, barricade restriction. So that alone, you know, this thing is extremely overpowered. If you people don't know what's going on and you're not builders like I am, or if you're just like uh, a getting to be a good builder and you're wondering what the fuck, how did you get past the 30 restriction? All I did is take out, so there's really um, a 30 physical attack on there. I literally just trashed it and I put some random chip in there I didn't like it, and I just rolled this uh, physical attack 50% uh, from my bounty weapon into it. So you guys literally have to trash your physical attacks if you guys want to do that. Uh, the weapon attack is stuck at the maximum, unfortunately. Uh, so is the damage versus humanoids. This is what makes me so overpowered in PVs. The damage versus humanoids and the maximum HP. So the maximum HP kicks in with the uh, damage versus humanoids, so I eat as much as their HP bar as fast as possible because I don't want them shooting me before I can hit them. So with these uh, damage versus humanoids, HP and the 50% 50, uh, 50 uh, physical attack, uh, vying with the weapon attack at 26% just rips them apart. Uh, it just dominates them, goes right for everything they got. And now my capacity makes it so I don't have to keep reloading my gun. So... Yeah, that's pretty much why this thing's so over fucking powered. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about it too, so you guys can understand the gadgets. Or first, they get to anti-neighbor kit two, electricity stun trap, and AR val shell. This is for the teammates during certain missions with light enemy shoulders, where you can block. Uh, mostly, this is using during the Guardians of the Ruins uh, three or any of those tiers for rookies, so I can support them. The anti air vial kit is so I don't get knocked down or stunned. So this thing is a tank. Well, it leaves two accessories to make it really tanky-like. So actually, there's three technically. We got the guard food four. So that means I have the highest defense that I can get from support. Then on top of that, I had the human fortress. Um, yeah, three right now. I can't lose the four because this build. So that kid's been getting knocked down like a ragdoll, so they can whack me all they want, but I won't fall over. Unless you're the behemoth or some bullshit like that. Then on top, I, I stack it with the anti-neighbor kit, too. So I can't get electricity stun. So, with the, the anti-neighbor kit, too, in the human fortress, that's what makes it so overpowered. And, like, get, getting stunned. So, like, people can just drop, like, six uh, electricity stun traps, I won't go down at all. Um, you guys are smart, you guys want to invest in this. But what makes the regen possible is with these HP recovery, 150%, uh, they do need an engine. It's like, well, technically, I guess these are the engine, but they have, like, no gasoline or, like, a key to start up. Just technically, the first aid kit 2 here pretty much starts that uh, sequence and gets it uh, moving up. And with my uh, stats, with the a INT... It increases the, uh, the effects of it to go even faster and faster and faster and faster. So now I'm going to show you the support. So you guys understand what's going on with this build. So one of the support things are actually kind of good for me and good for my teammates. This makes me a little bit more tanky, but it's kind of being a dick. I got Rival Shot 4 from DLC 4. Um, after you beat the campaign, you kill the boss the first time you all might unlock this. So, um, yeah, I popped them with that. So that means the bosses are pretty much fucked as I debuffed them. Then, on top of that, for support, I have three support shots here. I have HP, uh, HP, um, yeah, how many do I got? No, I only have two. I was a little confused. If I have three, that's an AD shot. Okay, so I have H, uh, HP, uh, recovery shot four. Yeah, it's right here. Then I have healing bullet four, and I have AD shot one. It's technically the highest you got. It's pretty much a four at this point. So, I can revive teammates across the room with this. I shoot everybody with this as uh, fast as I possibly can. So, the, uh, the regen starts happening. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. Oh, fortunately, this thing would be streaming overpowered with them if they just activate their first aid kits. But they're not that smart yet to use their first aid kits when I pop them with this. If somebody pops me with the HP uh, kit, I'm going to go insanely fucking fast. Like, I'm going to be almost immortal. Like, with my regen... All my shit with the HP recovery shot uh, phase 4 and a nan tip. Oh, motherfucker. You don't want to fuck with me. Uh, okay, so 
So I say, if I need more DP, like if the AR ninjas, like I'm dueling them, is not enough, the quick shot three can be used, and you can just lose the no uh, shot date. Basically, what it is is like uh, you, before you shoot it, just take off your auto aim because you can't lose auto aim with this, and push up in your D bag for and it's uh, take off your auto aim, and then you just like hold R B at the uh, wherever the enemy is at, just hold R B. And you tap your X or whatever you got it, and you just push a me while you're only your LT. So view in the second you shoot the the quick shot. If you don't view in, it won't work. It's just it's a glitch between viewing and not. So when it views, it can't reload because the thing can't sense it for some reason. But if you're not viewing, like you're not aiming in with your scope, it's gonna reload, and you don't want to reload. So that's a good thing, and I could put the other one here. But the build's going to be way more powerful on the PC version. I mean, you guys already see the PC version. I mean, I have a video on it right now. So, that's pretty much what makes this thing so overpowered. The hill and bullet, uh, it says about 8 seconds, but actually goes in less than 1 second. Third, oh, technically like 2, but I, it's more like 1. Because by the time I shoot the thing and the gun just pops back to the ground, it's already loaded and it's popping back up in the air again. And that's not what the handgun are. Or anything like that. If I want to get fucking crazy, I can pop the handgun art and just spam power filled and guard filled and then spam uh, viral shots and quick shots and healing bullets and HP recovery and ADs. Um, oh, that's a different weapon. So uh, the reason why defense is not the high as it should be, it should be somewhere in the 7,000 for me, uh, is the duel. The dueling requires so much in the stat requirement even to do this so I'm doing only two of them and he, this is how much the stat requirement it literally takes 254 just to do all these AR ninjas there's another one I could do well but I don't want to uh, I'm a big fan of the AR ninja threes and this is the build that makes it so overpowered I hope you guys understand what's going on here um, little review just so, under, so you guys can see what's going on here I got two accessories on this increasing this these are the two accessories what I currently show you so I'm just gonna remove them uh, guys keep in mind uh, you have to be level 300 to even pull this off and it will not lurk unless you have the accessories so this is literally the stat normally by itself and if you don't have the accessories you're gonna be docked down to four uh, four hundred thousand and technically you're not a real tank um, people say you're a real tank when you're four thousand but the time that people are saying this, there was no DLC for, there was no these hardcore shit. The 275s, I've been around since the beginning, and it was way easier to get around with four or 4,000 defense back in those days. But now it's just like, that's just nothing. It's it's literally like, you're technically just a normal defense. Like, normal defense people have 3,000 to 4,000. A lot of people don't understand that. It's like, that's just the norm. And like, anything lower than 3,000, you're just a squishy. Like, I have my friend show me a DP build, and I swear to God, he just takes his vitality and just guts it. He guts his vitality to 1%, and he just maxes out his LUC, uh, LUC and his AGI. To, well, not technically to 100%, but he mostly focuses on his DEX and LUC for the DP build. And that's what everybody's now doing with the quick shot. So, I'm letting you know, this is not a full in tank. You don't want to rock it around with the 4000 and the 275 areas. Um, if you guys want to try to pull this off and you don't have the accessories, what you can do is you should definitely rock in these stats if you want to do well. I recommend doing to get the max in a DP, but you need the gun. So, if you're going to do that, you just need to go to your accessories and find two. Two of them, not just one. Will have HP recovery. Because you're going to need the HP recovery if you want to be this guy. He's just, he won't work right if you don't have a fast recharge in your HP recovery. Now, if you can't make up for that HP recovery and you can't find it, you're going to have to find somebody that's going to cheat with the HP recovery shot for what you search it can do. I don't recommend having somebody do that. So here's a bunch of different ones. These are just dog shit. But, um, yeah, I'm literally have to lose my console to get these videos out because I tried to get on my PC, but it is so fucking hard for me right now to find... Uh, this accessory, because once I find it, I can just duplicate it. Um, here, this is accessory type right here. The Vitality at 32%, the AGI at 32%, and the HP Recovery at 150%, and the Maximum HP at 32%. But then again, Maximum HP is not what I want. But that's what that was. <coughs> By the time I got this shit, I was, um... I was doing the campaign over and over and over and over. I think I did the campaign uh, seven times 
and I think it was right towards the DLC 4 or something. I don't know exactly I got this. If anyone knows how you get this specific chip, like, this is really rare for me. Um, I did stack these up a little bit, so just want you guys to know about it. Alright, I gotta get going, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the Tank DP support video.